Every year, the world produces more than 60 million tons of soap, an enormous figure for something that seems so simple. Behind those smooth white bars lies a philosophy of renewal where nature itself is transformed into a symbol of cleanliness and survival. Among its key ingredients, sunflower oil, the liquid gold pressed from sun-drenched fields, serves as the foundation of this transformation. From that warm golden essence, humans craft a product that cleanses, protects, and revives the body after a day spent in the industrial world. This video takes you through the remarkable journey of soap, a reminder that purity doesn't always come from what's new, but from our ability to recreate what's most familiar. More than 4,000 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia, humanity accidentally created one of the most important inventions in history, soap. By boiling animal fat with wood ash, they discovered a substance capable of washing away dirt, giving birth to the very concept of hygiene, the foundation of modern medicine. From Rome to Arabia, that formula evolved with the use of plant oils, eventually entering the industrial age in Europe. Across millennia, soap has remained a silent shield protecting humankind from disease, a small yet enduring invention intertwined with the evolution of a clean civilization. Imagine a single day without soap. Within just a few hours, millions of bacteria could cling to your skin without you even noticing. Soap prevents that from happening. When mixed with water, its molecules break down the lipid membranes that surround bacteria and viruses, causing them to disintegrate and wash away. This simple chemical mechanism has saved billions of lives, from 19th century cholera outbreaks to modern global flu pandemics. Soap is not merely a hygiene product. It is humanity's most fundamental line of defense in a microscopic world. The journey of soap production begins in vast, sunlit fields of sunflowers, where every bloom turns to follow the path of the sun, nurturing the seeds within. This is the first and most fundamental stage of the process, as the quality of the harvested seeds determines the efficiency of both pressing and the later saponification reaction. Although soap can be made from many types of fats, such as animal tallow, coconut oil, olive oil, or palm oil, Sunflower oil has become increasingly favored. The plant thrives in warm climates, needs around 2,000 hours of sunlight each year, and requires minimal agricultural chemicals, reducing its environmental impact. Harvesting begins when the sunflowers start to bow their heads. The backs turn brown and the seeds inside reach a naturally dry state. Farmers use handheld moisture meters to check each batch, harvesting only when the seed moisture level drops below 20% to prevent shell cracking and minimize oil loss. Sunflower harvesters are equipped with narrow cutting heads adjusted to the height of the flower, trimming just the heads without damaging the stems. Inside the machine, a rotating drum gently threshes the seeds from their heads, while air fans blow away petals and larger debris. Key parameters such as drum speed and airflow pressure are constantly monitored to reduce shell breakage. A critical factor in preserving the oil's quality, once separated, the seeds are collected into ventilated containers to prevent condensation and maintain their natural dryness. By the end of the day, each batch is quickly tested for moisture and impurities, then transported to the nearest receiving station to begin post-harvest processing. Right after leaving the fields, trucks loaded with sunflower seeds arrive at the receiving station to begin post-harvest processing. This step is crucial for stabilizing the raw material's quality before oil extraction, since freshly harvested seeds still contain impurities and retain high moisture that can lead to spoilage. At the intake area, the seeds are poured into loading hoppers that feed a multi-deck vibrating screen system. Each screen layer has different hole sizes to separate straw, dust, husk fragments, and empty seeds. High-power air blowers send an upward current against the falling seeds, removing lighter debris. Only batches meeting the size and weight requirements move on to the drying section. Drying is performed using a steady flow of recirculating hot air, maintained between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 
operating continuously for several hours to bring the seed moisture down to 8 to 10 percent. The temperature must be tightly controlled, too high and the fatty acid structure breaks down, too low and the seeds remain damp, allowing mold growth. Temperature and humidity sensors placed throughout the drying chamber transmit data to a central control panel, where engineers monitor the process in real time. Once the target dryness is reached, the seeds are cooled naturally, then passed through a metal separator and a final grading unit to eliminate any remaining impurities. The clean, dry, and uniform seeds are finally stored in sealed steel silos, ready for the pressing stage. The moment when sunflower seeds are transformed into the golden oil that will one day become soap. Once the seeds reach the ideal moisture level, they are transferred to the pressing area, where the precious essence inside is extracted under immense mechanical pressure. First, the seeds are crushed by twin steel screw rollers, breaking them into thin flakes to improve extraction efficiency. This crushed material then enters a screw press, where compression forces reaching several thousand pounds per square inch squeeze the oil through fine slits. The resulting liquid is known as crude oil, while the remaining press cake is repurposed as livestock feed or converted into biofuel. The crude oil at this stage has a dark golden hue and contains natural impurities such as waxes, proteins, and mechanical residues. To stabilize its quality, the oil is gently heated between 160 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit to remove moisture, then filtered through cellulose membranes or filter aid powders to eliminate solid particles. In modern facilities, an additional step called cold de-waxing is applied. The oil is cooled to about 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing waxes to crystallize and separate via centrifugation. After refining, the oil becomes clear and pale yellow, with moisture content below 0.1% and a low acid value, meeting both food and cosmetic grade standards. Before storage, random samples are tested for purity, peroxide value, and oxidation resistance to ensure long-term stability. The finished oil is then stored in airtight stainless steel tanks, protected from light and oxygen, ready for the next stages of the production line. The refined sunflower oil is pumped into a reaction vessel, the heart of the entire production line, where the most crucial step takes place, saponification. This is the chemical reaction between vegetable oil and a strong alkali, typically sodium hydroxide, NaOH, producing two main products, soap, the sodium salt of fatty acids, and glycerin a natural humectant that keeps the soap soft and gentle on the skin. Because sunflower oil contains high levels of oleic and linoleic acids, it promotes a stable reaction, resulting in fine lather and a light texture. The oil is heated to between 140 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit, after which the sodium hydroxide solution is introduced under controlled pressure. Twin helix agitators operate continuously to ensure thorough mixing between the oil and alkali molecules. Sensors constantly monitor pH, temperature, and conductivity to prevent excess alkali, a factor that could cause skin irritation. As the reaction nears completion, the mixture begins to thicken and change color, shifting from pale yellow to creamy white or light brown, depending on the oil type. During the final mixing phase, natural pigments such as clay, activated charcoal, or turmeric powder are added to color the product while the soap mass is still warm. The raw soap is then separated from the glycerin solution and washed with brine to remove impurities before being transferred to the neutralization area. Although this process is rooted in techniques developed thousands of years ago, precision in temperature, timing, and reaction ratios remains essential to producing high-quality sunflower oil soap smooth, mild, and safe for the skin. After neutralization, the raw soap is cooled and ground into small granules known as soap noodles. These granules are fed into a twin screw mixer where counter-rotating shafts knead the material continuously to achieve a uniform, pliable texture. During this process, glycerin is added to retain moisture, pure salt enhances hardness, 
and natural essential oils such as lavender, bergamot, or peppermint are sprayed directly into the mixing chamber. If color is desired, natural mineral pigments like red clay or activated charcoal are introduced at the final stage. Every parameter, temperature, viscosity, and mixing time is carefully controlled to ensure that fragrance and color blend evenly, resulting in a smooth, soft, and structurally stable soap mass. After complete blending, the smooth and pliable soap mass is fed into a vacuum plotter, a machine responsible for compressing, de-aerating, and homogenizing the material before shaping. Inside the extrusion chamber, a rotating screw continuously drives the soap forward under high pressure. Midway through the body of the machine, a vacuum chamber removes all microscopic air bubbles and trapped air pockets, ensuring that the extruded soap emerges dense, solid, and with a perfectly smooth surface. Once stable pressure is achieved, the soap is forced through a steel die plate with dozens of small circular holes arranged concentrically. Under intense compression, the material is extruded into soft, evenly colored strands, a sign that its plasticity and moisture content are at ideal levels. These strands are continuously collected on a conveyor trough where they are lightly cooled and prepared for fine milling or a second extrusion pass to further enhance density and uniformity. The vacuum extrusion stage not only gives the soap its initial form, but also determines its physical integrity. If pressure or vacuum levels are not precisely controlled, the finish bars may later develop voids, cracks, or fractures during drying. For this reason, all pressure sensors and screw speed controls are regularly calibrated to maintain absolute stability before the soap proceeds to the next phase. After vacuum extrusion, the dense and uniform soap mass is continuously pushed out through the die head in long bars with either circular or rectangular cross sections. To ensure each bar meets the precise dimensions required for stamping, these extruded bars are sent through an automatic cutting machine, where rotating blades slice them to the program lengths. Optical sensors detect the position and movement speed of the soap bars, synchronizing the cutter's rotation with the extrusion rate. This precision is critical. Even a slight misalignment or uneven cut would cause the bars to fit improperly in the stamping molds, leading to product defects. Each cut piece is randomly inspected for weight, perpendicularity, and surface flatness. Any sections that fall short of specifications are collected and reintroduced into the mixing stage for reprocessing. When the soap bars are extruded from the vacuum plotter, they form continuous lengths that must be divided into smaller segments before molding. This is done using either an automatic or semi-manual cutting system, depending on the production scale. In industrial lines, high-speed rotary blades automatically synchronize with the extrusion rate, ensuring each piece has precise length and weight. In smaller workshops, operators may use foot-controlled mechanical cutters, a setup that maintains accuracy while allowing better control over the cut surface. Immediately after cutting, the soap billets are pushed into metal molds by pneumatic pistons inside a hydraulic stamping press. The high compression force compacts the soap completely, eliminating internal voids and shaping the outer surface according to the mold design. This stage marks a key transition, transforming the freshly cut billets into solid, uniform blanks ready for final shaping and logo embossing. When the freshly molded soap bars are still soft, they move to the logo engraving stage, the step that gives each product its unique brand identity. Depending on the production scale, this process can be performed automatically using a logo press or manually with handheld molds. In large-scale operations, steel molds engraved in relief or intaglio are gently heated and pressed onto the soap surface by pneumatic pistons, imprinting crisp, consistent brand marks. In smaller workshops, artisans use brass or steel hand molds, pressing them directly onto the soap with just the right amount of force to create pieces that carry subtle, individual variations, each bar slightly different, yet full of character. After engraving, the soap bars undergo inspection through a combination of optical cameras and manual quality checks. 
Technicians examine the depth and clarity of the logo, as well as the smoothness, color, and surface sheen. The products that meet quality standards are sent to the final sorting and packaging line, ready to be introduced to the market. After passing quality inspection, the finished soap bars enter the automatic packaging line. Before wrapping, they are gently cooled with a flow of dry air to stabilize their structure and preserve the fragrance. Each bar then moves through a film or wax paper wrapping machine, where the packaging is sealed with mild heat, ensuring tight closure without deforming the product. Depending on the brand, the packaging may use craft paper, printed brand paper, or transparent bop film. All are automatically cut, labeled, and marked with batch codes, production dates, and origins. The wrapped soaps are then stacked into moisture-resistant carton trays, sealed with inspection labels, and transferred to storage for shipment. This final stage completes the production line, the moment when each bar leaves the factory in its finished form, ready to reach consumers. From the golden sunflower fields to the pure, fragrant bars of soap, it is a journey that unites agriculture, chemistry, and precise engineering. Every stage, from harvesting and oil pressing to saponification, molding and packaging, reflects how humanity transforms natural resources into products that serve cleanliness and health. If you want to explore the inner workings of the world behind everyday objects, subscribe to The Factorin where industrial stories are told through the most authentic lens.